Okay, oh, what's up guys? This is Rich again for another edition of Learning with Rich. Okay, so in this topic, I'm going to teach you how to uh, use viewpoints in Navisworks Manage 2018. So as you can see, if you notice, there is a, there is a whole separate tab uh, for viewpoint, okay? So this is what we are actually going to discuss. So how to save a viewpoint in Navisworks and let us try to explore some of the things uh, regarding the viewpoints. All right, so let's get started. So just a quick uh, information about the viewpoints. Viewpoints are snapshots taken of the model as it is displayed in the scene view so as you can see this is our scene view so viewpoints may include a variety of comments and red line tags which have been previously added to a viewpoint you cannot create the viewpoints in autodesk navisworks but you can use any of the viewpoints and viewpoint animations saved in the model okay so viewpoint animation typically contains both the user movement through the model and views of the model which is i'm going to teach you also how to create a viewpoint animation all right so let's get started so for you to be able to follow me i'm just going to use the sample navisworks uh, file okay so definitely you will have this file sample files and just make sure all Navisworks files is set as the file subtype. And let's say, for example, I'm going to open here the bath CT folder. Mm, how about the east.nwd? Or you can also open your own Navisworks file. All right. So just open this one. Okay. So this is actually the model. So again, it's like uh, AutoHide and Revit. You can use the will button up your mouse to zoom in and zoom out okay and again you can also use the orbit here to orbit your model okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to look for a view that i want to save so like what i have said viewpoints are snapshots taken of the model as it is displayed in our scene view so this is our scene view so let's say for example so this is the view that i want Okay, so I want to save this view, all right? So perfect. So if you want to save this view, so all you have to do is to go to your viewpoint and then you can select there, saved viewpoint. Actually, you can also right click viewpoint and can we save? Yeah, you can also save a viewpoints by right clicking, okay? But easier way just go to the viewpoint tab and then you can select the save viewpoints okay so you just have to select that and then you will notice this portion here the save viewpoints dialog box will appear and we already have here some default uh, viewpoints but this is the one that i just created so i'll just change the name of this All right so let's say i'll just call this viewpoint number one okay and then you just need to press enter so there you go. You just save this view as your viewpoint. So if you go to other view, okay, so let's say for this one, and then you want to go back to the viewpoint that you just saved or to the angle that you just saved the scene. So all you have to do is to go to the save viewpoints, and then you just need to select the viewpoint that you want. There you go. Very simple. Right? So it's not that difficult. Right? So it's just a snapshot. So importantly, viewpoints can be used for more than just saving information about the view of the model. So for example, again, like what I have said earlier, they can be annotated with red lines and comments, which I'm going to teach you as we move on on our discussion about Nabis works. So putting some red lines and comments allows you to use viewpoints as a design review audit trail. Okay? And viewpoints can also be used as links in the scene view. So that when you click and zoom to the viewpoints, so the Navisworks displays the red lines and comments associated with it. Okay? 
So let's go ahead and save another viewpoints or another viewpoint. Okay, so let's say looks like Minecraft. Okay, uh huh. Let's get a good viewpoint, good angle. By the way, um, you can go to the viewpoint. You can actually change the field of view here. See ya. Right? You can adjust this one. The field of view. So if it is too sharp, okay, you can adjust this one. You can make it like this. So if you zoom in, so it's kind of like this one. Right? So you can adjust the field of view. All right? Okay, if it is too sharp, just lessen the field of view. Right, so let's say for example, uh -huh, this view is perfect. Okay, so I'm going to save the viewpoint. Again, aside from selecting the save viewpoint here, you can just right click, viewpoint, save viewpoints, and save viewpoint. Okay, and then just name it as it is. Let's say uh, viewpoint to enter. Right. So if you want, you can also organize your viewpoints by creating a folder. Okay. To organize the viewpoints in the folder, so from the viewpoint tab, okay, so there is an option here. You can click this. Oh, so this is the one. So I just need to right click, right click, and you can select new folder. Okay, so this is my sample viewpoint folder. Enter. Okay, then after that, you can just simply click the viewpoint that you want to save and if the viewpoints are multiple files or multiple views you just need to click one and then you hold the control and then you drag you put it inside the folder okay so it's now inside the folder so basically that's how you uh, organize your viewpoints into the folder so you just need to right click uh-huh, wait, right click, new folder, and then you just need to drag the viewpoints that you want. So in case you want to access again the viewpoints that you save, you just need to click the viewpoint and you'll be able to access the viewpoint. Okay, so there you go. So that's how you create the viewpoint. Or I mean, that's how you save a viewpoint. So once again, thank you for watching. If you have any comments, suggestions, or questions, you just put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you soon as I can. Okay, so we will be continuing our discussion with viewpoints. Okay, I'm going to teach you next exercise on how to create an animation using a viewpoint. Alright, so thank you for watching. Have a nice day.